tonight from Buffalo Bills Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking on Alex Smith and the Washington football team. We are just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at Bill Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Washington football team. Danny Johnson returning and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. They'll be led out by the number one overall selection back in 05 out of the University of Utah. It's Alex Smith. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's three running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. A run here for J.D. McKissick. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. From the 25 on second down, Smith. And the return will stop right around the 25. The Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. How about 54 touchdown passes in two full seasons at the University of Wyoming coming out of a junior college? I think he exceeded expectations, and he can move it around a little bit, too. A much better athlete than people give him credit for. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. From the 22, Allen escaping the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down, and he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. 
to throw. It's Allen. And he's got it. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Three yards in the game there, second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll toss this right side to Singletary. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Jan Brown there to make the grab. And the Bills have taken the early lead. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. So now they'll line up to kick the extra point. Seven-nothing Buffalo. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Washington, nothing. Touchdown Bass to kick it away. Here comes Johnson on the return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. On the return, Washington will take over first and 10 at their own 20. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine that looks to be eight officially so second and two but you often say that sort of opens the playbook now second and short what do you think early shot here i like where you're going obviously we've been together for a while because you know me i want to take that shot early and loosen things up eight yards the tally on that first down run here's second and two They give it off here to the tight end. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. defensive back here for the Bills on third down. 
Out of the gun, Smith. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Quentin Jefferson with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Andre Roberts is deep for Buffalo. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and ten. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. Here's Allen on first and ten. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown. That'll bring up second down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. on first down that leads to a second and ten to throw again Allen he'll buy some time right he's going to take off with it and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead first down 18 yard gain well that was man coverage so once he decides to run with the football there's no one to account for him and he turns it into a nice gain So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Wide open receiver complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen stepping up. He'll try and run. Allen hit. He lost the football. Allen on the keeper. A fumble on the play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Bill seven, Washington, nothing. First down, Allen. 
It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. A six-yard pick. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. No gain on the play. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. Tyler, Tyler Bass, Bass out for the Bills, Bills field goal. It'll be spotted on the right hash. A 52-yard attempt. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And the lead moves to 10 zip. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Ball carrier. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's Barber. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me, because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and then think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up, because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and set them down. Third down, a nickel formation here defensively. A shotgun snap for Smith. And he'll go underneath with this one to McKissick. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Complete. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. On 
on first down. It's Gibson. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Four yards the pickup, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run with McKissick. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0 our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Now what a first down pickup of eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Buying time to his left. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. First down throw, it's Smith. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Quentin Jefferson able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Smith, and he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. So now on fourth down, Washington will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. This will be a 37-yard attempt. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. Washington, 3. 
So a dozen plays on that drive CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That's about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. Andre Roberts now to return it. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Bills take over at first and 10 at their own 20. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen, sliding out of the pocket. And now he's going to use his legs. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Second and seven. From the gun, it's Allen. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. down is Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. Now a gain of six there on first. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. Second and four. Operating from the gun. Allen. On the left side, he finds Beasley. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 41-yard line. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half from the mobile big man quarterback, Josh Allen. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Dustin. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. Here's the all-pro returner from 2018, Andre Roberts. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bills take over at first and 10 
Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. And not much, maybe a yard up to the 29. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback they also have to have interest in the running game as well and they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground on second and nine allen and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled 12 yards there and a first down partners a lot of fun watching the nfl now isn't it because when the big fella runs routes it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. A gain of three, second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Second down at seven. Now Allen, they'll roll it, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jonathan Allen, the former first-round pick, getting in there to bring him down. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big-time sack. An extra man here in the secondary for Washington on third down. From the gun, Allen. He hits Beasley right side. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. But it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. send the punter out as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt and he gets it away a directional kick going toward the sideline and this will be out of bounds now it's a question of where they'll mark it and they'll say it crosses at the 11 yard line first possession of the second half now for Washington their defense just came up with a stop right out of the locker room and now can the offense take advantage yeah we don't want to turn this into something that it's not it's only a one score game so it's not exactly a crucial possession but at the same time they'd like to get things started and at least come away with three points now a first and ten at the 11. From the gun, here's Smith. He rifles one that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way.
Pass on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. And they'll begin by running the option. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive at the 27-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun, Smith. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They'll run on first down. Gibson. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. That time on the outside, pretty nice job as a cornerback to shed any would-be blockers and make the tackle. And think about the praise we're giving him, what his coaches are giving him, but how about the respect he gets from his teammates to be a complete corner who doesn't just cover receivers, but also tackles ball carriers. Looking to throw on second down. Smith, this is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. A gain of eight yards, and it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, Smith. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. It's a gain of six. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Now a throw here to his running back. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. 
And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Buffalo. It's Washington with the football, but trailing here as we begin quarter number four. Two now. Here's first and ten. Operating from the gun. Smith. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Throwing again on second down. Smith finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Brandon, a lot of times you'll see running backs rotate in and out of the game, whether it's completed pass, a good run, it doesn't matter. Here, not only does he stay in, but they go right back to him, and he makes another nice play. Back-to-back -back catches. From the red zone now, Smith. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Smith throwing again. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. From 13 yards out. And Washington able to make this a close game again. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Hopkins with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Dustin Following the Hopkins. touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep, and Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. At their own 25-yard line. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the gun, Allen. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got him. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Allen 
Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Operating from the gun, Allen. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. The Bills on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. From the gun, Allen. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Intended for Dawson Knox. In critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. The Bills send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. On first and ten, Smith looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. On second down, it's Gibson. And a short gate across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Ball carrier. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and inches. A carry now for McKissick. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Not much there, only a yard. They drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Clock running as Washington will try and hurry up. They'll fake it. Now Smith. He's going to let it fly. He's got a man complete. 20. Touchdown, Washington! Kelvin Harmon, 77 yards. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. The receivers have been running them ragged. Maybe some tired legs in the secondary. Maybe some tired legs in the pass rush. Didn't get to him. And look what resulted. A touchdown, tie game. They've got a chance to take the lead.
Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. Just 17 17 the score all even to this point as the kicks away and this carries into the end zone and Roberts choosing not to bring this one out at their own 25 yard line here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here they've got work to do but they do still have a bit of time here and they've got to feel comfortable with that but they have all their play sequences called if they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Now Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Yeah, we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Back to throw. Allen. It's complete to Brown, right side. Buffalo Bills. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. Allen to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Three yards the game there, second down. three. Brings up second and seven. <laughs> to throw is Allen. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. And again, it's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he will get this to the midfield stripe, but that's not going to be enough. He's a few yards short. It's fourth down. send the punter out. They'll boot it away from about his 35. So four quarters wasn't enough, and we are off to overtime. Don't change that dial. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point.
Dustin Hoffman. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. Buffalo set to get the football back here. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Another nice job there defensively. They've really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face. Good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incompletions. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again. Allen finding Knox there, complete. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. trying to keep this drive and overtime going. A big one coming up. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. and 10. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially at a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. On first down, Singletary. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five sets, five DBs, but what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes you can run the football effectively against that defense. On first down, Allen works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. 
So the shotgun snap to Allen. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brown. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Throwing his Allen on third. And he's got his man on the out round. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again, shaping up to be a very efficient opening drive here in overtime. And can you feel the tension building? Because I'm feeling it, all right? I've got the, I've got the sweaty palms here with each play because of the enormity of what's going on. Each play means so much in overtime, and they're handling it well as this drive continues. Here's a first and 10 Let's at the 14-yard line. Let's go, you They'll run on first down. Singletary trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Thomas Davis on the Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Call it a three-yard game, and they're going to have a third down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Forced out to his left. He made Allen hit. He lost the football. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. And my, how the tables have turned. They had a chance inside the red zone. Punch that thing in and end it. Now we're going the other way. And it's real easy to just look at them and say, boy, what an error, what a mistake you made. But how about the defense yeah, coming up huge? There. Let's give them a little bit of credit, keeping their team in the game, because if they score a touchdown there, it's game over. Washington ready to try again on offense. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it. But they turned it back over to him, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Well, part one is done. Now part two. Here's McKissick. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. Five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. second down now it's Gibson and a short gain across the 15 to the 17 yard line he was brought down by Quinton Jefferson a two yard gain on the play and it's third down Smith on third down. Got an open man. It's Harmon. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. 
That's their second and last time out here in the overtime session. We'll be back. They will run it. It's McKissick. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Taron Johnson brought him down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 45-yard line. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. Six yards left on second down. Out of the gun, Smith. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 43. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Partner, this is a pretty good drive they're putting together. And I know if I'm on the other sideline, that offense kind of helpless, isn't it? Because they may not touch the football at all because they go down and score a touchdown. This thing's over. Absolutely. That would write an ending to this script. We'll see what happens. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 43. Now we've got whistles here before the snap, and I believe this is going to be on Washington. Offense. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? Still first down. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Oh, where did take you? Where did you go? Oh, man. That time the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. to throw Smith and they take him down the Bills get to him and Oliver that time the one to get in there and bring him down you know the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and they can often hit big but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked yeah what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen typically a blitz and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen now that allows your blitzers to get there. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Another try after the first down sack. Smith. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Smith's pass. It'll be a three-yard gain. And that'll bring up a third down and very long. And now third and very long. Are you cautious here? I think you have to be because the first mantra of any football game is don't lose it. Then you give yourself a chance to win it. And if you go ahead and force something now, take a big shot that doesn't pay off, you didn't help your defense out at all. Yeah, especially here in overtime. Flush to his right. He'll air. And that's caught at the 25. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. So the big play nullified a legal forward pass. And maybe we know why they were able to get such a good chunk of yardage on that play. That pass was illegal. Here's
here's Tressway now. And a double overtime. This needs to be a good one. A beautiful fake. Here we go, here we go. A punt of 46, a return of five. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. The Bills ready to take over. Neither team scored yet. Now we go to sudden death. Next points win this game. How about the tension right now? It is ratcheted up, isn't it? I mean, now whatever happens, points are scored. That's your ball game. Can't wait to see the defense now. Do they get a little more aggressive in order to not let the team just drive the ball easily down the field? Got to be careful, though, right? Yeah, if you're too aggressive, you just give up something easy and cheap. But some defensive coordinators, they'd rather take a stand that way as opposed to being nickel and dime down the field. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Throwing now is Allen. Allen hit. He lost the football. Alex Smith sacked. A fumble on the play. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. To the air, Allen. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. He's got a first down past the 30. And finally brought down at the 34-yard line. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating... The guys who just gave up that play. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. From the gun, it's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. The Bills send the punter out. On for a very important punt here in overtime. On the return is Sims. It'll be a 39-yard punt. Give him a good 10 yards on the return. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out. Give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. From the gun, here's Smith. And a sideline pass. That's caught by Thomas. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work. And that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And 
Going to give this time to the tailback. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They'll keep it on the ground. Gibson, and he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 20-yard line. Eight yards on the up there, and it moves the sticks. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're in the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. A 37. Now the Bills will take another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. So now it all comes down to Dustin Hopkins. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And it's 3-0 Washington. point into overtime and it took the field goal to win it and we always pay lip service to how important it is to play defense and usually we focus on the big offensive pyrotechnics right but in this case they got the ball back on defense gave themselves a chance and they capitalized on it with a victory and i don't care what distance that field goal is from in overtime the knees are always <laughs> knocking but he pushed it through not only that think about your snapper your holder a lot of nerves for them, too, because they have to do their job in order to give him one last chance to put a foot to it. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night.